home buying mistakes and how to avoid them. I'll give you a little hint. It involves a realtor and a lender. Stay tuned as I get into it. Hey everybody, my name is Stacy Hesser and I'm a realtor here in the great state of Oklahoma serving the southern portion of the state. So there are some home buying mistakes that can be made, but I'm a realtor, I'm here to help you. Not only do I help you find a home, but I also help you find a really good lender that will help you through this entire process. Tip number one, find out how much house you can afford. This would involve going through a pre-qualification process, uh, getting a lender, finding out how much house it is that you really can't afford based on your income and your credit score. Both of those are gonna have an impact for you. Another one would be getting more than one quote, because oddly, Lenders all have different rates that they can apply to you, whether it's for like loan origination fees, which is just kind of a fancy way of saying paperwork fees and how much they're going to charge you to actually process the loan and put you through the entire lending process. And there's also other things that could be variable from them, like your interest rate. Different lenders will have different criteria on your interest rates and what kind of credit you need to qualify with in order to get a better interest rate. Number three, going through and actually doing a credit check yourself. You can actually run your own credit report uh, for free. You're entitled to do so, and I will provide a link below to go through that so you can actually get to work on your credit to see what's out there. There might be some errors on your credit. There might be some um, omissions on your credit. All of these are gonna have an impact of whether to raise it or to lower it. Again, having a really great lender though will really help you with that to talk you through and coach you on things to do to improve your credit score. So number four, oh, four, I guess that's eight, four, uh, making too small of a down payment. So actually increasing the amount of your down payment can actually lower your monthly payment. So this could be very beneficial to you over the long term. It might hurt, it might be a pain point, but it can truly help you. If you can possibly get yourself into a position of being able to put more than 20% or more down on a house, this really can be a big savings for you. However, if you're a first time home buyer, I know money can be tight, you don't have home equity built up obviously, and you may not have a large savings account. So you could probably be looking for something that requires the minimum amount of down payment out there. But know this, that minimum down payments on a home can be anywhere from zero, that's right folks, 0% down to 3%, 3.5%, 5%. There's a misconception out there that you need 20%. That's not true, not true. So a good lender again will tell you about that. Now, with all of that said, I'm gonna move into my next one, which is don't gut your savings account in order to buy a house. That's not a good plan of attack either. You may move in and need to have a little bit of a cushion to be able to do some upgrades right away or heaven help you if something goes wrong in the house and you need to do some kind of repairs or something. Don't gut your savings account in order to buy a house. I know it sounds a little bit counterintuitive with what I just talked about, but it really is important to still have some cash on hand. The next one I have for you is to really, again, a good lender is gonna to talk to you about this, but educate yourself too. There are a ton of first time home buyer programs out there that can really save you some money. There's also grant programs out there, free money, free, free money. That's right folks, free money to you to get a house, get into a house. Um, I'm aware of a few that are out there. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about that. Just give me a ring and we can talk you through it. There's also programs once you're in a home to get you even more money for like energy efficiencies. Maybe you're part of an Indian tribe and you'd be able to qualify through for some grant money through them. But there are just a ton of programs out there. Educate yourself, get with a good lender, get a good realtor, and we'll hook you up. The last one we're gonna talk about is points. And I saved this one for last because right now, with interest rates being as low as they are, this isn't really a big concern, but it's good to know about, people do ask about it. But points is something, it's a means to being able to pay down your interest rate. So you can actually pay money up front and buy a lower interest rate. 
This does mean more money down at the time that you close your house, but when interest rates are getting higher, it's a great way to save some money. And again, long-term prospects here, it's definitely another great way to save money. But that's it for you guys. I hope you have a great one. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me some comments. And thank you so much for subscribing. I love you guys. It really helps me promote my channel and get more content out there and reach more people. I'm here to help. So I hope you're having a great one. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh, it involves a lender and an agent. No. Home buying.